Wow. So it's early morning. It's about eight o'clock in the morning. I've done my morning routine and I thought I'd come out here, have um, my second cup of coffee. And talk to y'all. I'm in my bedroom slippers. I have on my overalls. It's a little bit chilly still, but you can hear the birds. And it's been a while since I did this kind of video. Um, definitely a while since I did this kind of video. Um, I have a new Canon camcorder. Well, actually, it's it's brand new. I had a really cheap camcorder, but I never could get it to format right for videos. I thought uh, it would make things a lot easier to do vlogs and to film journal with me's and watercolor with me's and things like that if I didn't have to keep hitting record every 8 to 12 minutes depending on which camera I was using. I've, all, I've thought that for a while now but then my Panasonic Lumex I spilled coffee on. So, yeah. <laughs> My webcam, I like to do live videos with. I do coffee chats with inside. But I thought, oh, whew, I don't know how people hold these. Well, y'all quit fighting. The birds are fighting up in the trees. I know I'm not probably looking in the camera the way I'm supposed to. I'm still getting used to this. I may go in the front yard. My wisteria is blooming, y'all. But the birds are so vocal out here. Okay. It's been a crazy, crazy time. I went and picked my mom up on March 13th and took her, that was Friday the 13th, and took her to the grocery store and stuff. I took my brother to an appointment. I haven't seen them in that long. I think it was the 18th maybe of March that I last saw my grandkids, other than pictures and, live, and um, like Facebook Messenger Live. We've done video chat. And I know this really ha shouldn't affect me that much because I work from home, y'all. I mean, I work from home. There's gotta be a way to do this where I'm not holding this thing the whole time. But anyway, I, yeah, I'm gonna keep getting out of focus here. It's the wide angle lens is what it is. I thought after taking a week off, I have this video that I need to finish editing. It's already been up on Patreon because they get like YouTube previews that I would see I have arthritis so this is like not easy. So let's see. Oh my picnic table is a little damp so now that my seat is <laughs> um, okay. My roses are blooming. My wild rose has um, little buds on it. They haven't bloomed yet. This rose always does like the best. It's the blush rose. Some years it's more yellow and red. But see this one is more white and pink. I don't know. And this one is trying. And this one down here, bless his heart, and I really need to weed this thing. And as you can see, my wisteria is, woo, look at her. Each year she gets bigger. Each year she gets bigger. So pretty. So very pretty. Okay, now I gotta figure out how to do this. I hate to do it this way, but we may have to do it this way. That's a little bit better. Okay, so now you can mostly see me and the people across the street. <laughs> but at least this way I can sit down and the camcorder is on top of a plant thing on the little table on my porch and I don't have a really big porch but anyway none of that's really important all this craziness so you're gonna see in the following video that I'm changing a few things up well some more things are gonna change 
But before we get into that, I wanted to talk a few minutes about what might be changing here on my channel. I feel like it's time and maybe that's because of all the craziness that's going on. Maybe it's because I've been slowly but surely simplifying things. Maybe it's just part of my growth. Maybe it's the different synchronicities that have been coming up in my life. Maybe it's just me. Maybe there is no rhyme or real reason except that it's time. It's time I made real changes. It's time I made small changes. It's time I did something I think my truth has slowly but surely been coming to the surface. And some of those truths aren't truths I even realized that I even knew or, or, or understood completely or truths that I fought. Yeah, some of it surprised me. And I will get to more and more of it as we go through uh, more videos. For now, I think where I'm headed is in a couple of different directions and all the YouTube advice gurus tell you that you need to find your niche and that's what your channel needs to be about. But my niche is about sharing and it's about the journey and the process. It's, it's enjoying the process. It's paying attention to the process. It's my creative life and part of my creative life has to do with not just it's your mind, your body, your spirit, it's all of it and I'm in a really good place where some things are concerned and where other things are concerned I feel so completely out of sorts feeling that way feeling out of sorts we have friggin mosquitoes out already oh my god feeling out of sorts because of everything that's going on because of being exiled <laughs> exiled for the good of the realm um, I was watching Diane Reevely this morning I'm not a big mixed media person, but there are some really helpful tips for doing different things because I do like being creative and I do like some of the products. I just don't, um, that's just not my cup of tea, but I love some of the ways, like some of the things and other things. You can take away something from all different kinds of things. It doesn't have to be your cup of tea or coffee for you to get something from it or for you to appreciate it, for you to learn from it. Anyway, she said, get over yourself. Nobody's stopping you from creating your art but you, you know. Um, go on, move on to the next page. So, she, I, 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 was, <laughs> I was listening to her and I cracked up laughing and I hit pause and I went and got my journal and I wrote down part of what she said. Because I was like, yes, this is the message I need to hear today. Get over myself. Nobody's stopping me from doing any of it. Not my art, not my spirituality, not my DIY projects, not my writing. Nobody's stopping me but me. Now, finances sometimes will, can play a role, but that just means I need to be better about organizing and getting everything ready and finding sometimes other solutions, being creative, problem solving, doing more research. Um, that gives me time to do the research, time to get things, perf you know, not perfected, but better, you know, to the point where I'm ready to, say, put a class somewhere or um, different things. So what I have been thinking about doing, doing these different things, thinking about, like, doing this project or that project. I think Tuesdays is going to be Tuesday Talks for YouTube, and then Fridays will be maybe a live or another video that's pre-recorded. I'm going to try. Sometimes there'll be a third video maybe on a Sunday. Most of the time I'm just going to stick to two videos a week. I needed a bit of a break and I've been trying to get back into the swing of things but this chaos, this craziness kind of made it worse, my anxiety. So now I'm like okay I have to take control of the situation. It's time for me to get back into the swing of things. I work from home. You know, this is affecting everybody in my family pretty much but me. So, but it, but that makes it affect me. It's a cause and effect. So I need to kind of get over myself. <laughs> so when I heard Diane Reedley say that this morning, I was like, yes, exactly. So I have gotten an email where I can actually do memberships on YouTube now. I'm not sure if that's something any of you would be interested in doing. Um, I may put it up there and then we'll see and maybe that will be like the third video so instead of having a newsletter 
have a membership I already have patreon some people don't want to do patreon so the membership thing might be a good thing um, it would be similar I'm gonna talk to my patrons because it's the same thing but some people just don't like patreon anyway I've been thinking about making changes I have a second YouTube channel that I don't use anymore and I am thinking about I don't know that I will delete it but I'm not going to be using it anymore maybe every once in a blue moon for like uh, something like an unboxing or something I don't know we'll see you'll hear more about that later in the rest of this video and the rest of the video is coming from my past so from a few days ago so from Sunday and la and what Thursday or Friday self so I'm excited about some of the changes that I'm making and I feel really good about where I'm headed so I'm going to get off of here and put all of this together because I haven't read that was the only thing I didn't do this morning as part of my morning routine I actually got a little bit of housework stuff done I've actually gotten a little laundry done I've done my meditation and gotten ready I took a shower and got ready and so I'm just gonna go ahead because I have other things to do and I want to um, I, there's an audible book that I'm going to start listening to while I do a journal watercolor kind of thing with me. Um, I'll see y'all again soon. Bye y'all. There is never only one way. That is why there are three fates, not one, Zeus said in The Blood of Olympus by Rick Royden. That is so accurate. For a good while, I think, for quite a few weeks, for some of us longer than that, uh, over a month, many of us have felt like we're living in the midst of chaos. Some things we don't really have any control over right now. So finding a way to sort of get back, gain back a sense of control, a sense of calm, has been important for me. And I'm sure for some of you, it's probably been one of the things that that you've been trying to do or have done I've done some of it in some ways like I've been cleaning sections of my house little by little I've been changing things up simplifying things in order to help and I thought if I could just simplify some things that would really help during chaotic times I think sometimes we need a little nudge a little push we need to find a little clarity we need to find a bit of an escape we need to find something that that can calm the stress the anxiety the chaos and for me creativity is one of those things art writing if I can if I can find a way to be creative then it will help ease my anxiety it'll help ease that stress I feel I find the calm in the chaos if I can really get into that creative zone when I'm writing or drawing or painting or reading or listening to an audible book while I'm doing those things it just depends on what I'm doing well I've really been enjoying doing the planning um, the bullet journaling in the standard it's right there um, I just moved it out of there because I have found that during this time for a while I have kept things very separate for the longest time I've actually been keeping the regular everyday mundane life stuff separate from my more spiritual magical kind of like you know stuff that, that part of my life there's even a separate YouTube channel I haven't posted on that YouTube channel in a long while because after I did it and I got stuff up there the more that I did stuff not so separate on patreon I would put like a, a little note or it would have a tab where it said you know this contains tarot or this contains this this is about my spiritual journal the more that I combined the magical and the mundane the more that I realized I didn't really want to separate things I don't want to separate things and I had set up this b6 slim in this gorgeous sojourner cover that I got from Brie it is this purple croc and it is gorgeous and you know if you've listened to me if you've been watching me for a while you will know that I have often said I don't like B6 slim well after using the standard for a while and then I started this I just I had to have the cover I didn't care if it was B6 slim I was like I'll find a way to use it I know that sound I know how that sounds but I have fallen in love and I think the reason I have fallen in love is because 
this is compact and right now I need compact right now I need to simplify so I was using this as my manifestation journal and I set it up I have a video where I did my vision board I did journaling the card says abundance and it came in something that I had bought online and I was like man this is synchronicitous I prefer to operate with an ethics of abundance there's plenty of space for everyone and plenty of room to grow in the ways that matter not in the overconsumption of material resources but in the sharing of ideas and creative endeavors sharing my learning my creativity that feels like it helps others it feels like it, it sharing the process my journey that's why journey with virgins sharing bits and pieces of my journey feels like it helps those of us who are looking to connect with somebody else because sometimes it can feel really alone sometimes even when you're not self-isolating self-quarantining when you're not on orders to stay at home it can feel isolating especially if you are a writer or an artist if you work from home if what you are doing is a solitary kind of thing I have found I oftentimes feel very isolated I am an introvert so that doesn't always bother me but there are times when it has but doing that sharing leads to and contributes to a kind of abundance that I want for my community for our community and the world I am uninterested in growth or success that does not uplift others alongside myself so I wrote down that was a quote part of that was me and part of that was the quote I wrote down some things that I found in a um, something from Oprah understand the next right move seize your opportunity everyone makes mistakes work on yourself run the race as hard as you can believe we are all seeking the same thing find your purpose stay grounded relax it's going to be okay and I wrote down a lot of what I wanted to manifest a lot of what I talked I showed in that vision board and I did some morning pages and I did some gratitude pages and I did some journaling I did quite a bit of different things and I was going along and doing quite a bit of things finding things you know writing down things and I got to this point let me take the paper clip off I I mean I would love for my dining room table to look like that and I found this door and I was going to journal and I didn't get around to it but I found the door and then I found this and this was from a magazine it has to do with paint but it says start over smooth over texture over color over and then I have a print out a PDF from Geraldine Jane about manifesting your dreams I am a patron of hers I switched from the standard to the B6 and I was going to print out what I had done on vellum or on acetate and put it on here washi tape it in but my printer broke and I don't know if you could see but there's the box right there with a printer that one's not wireless I'm gonna still try to fix mine mine is wireless mine is more expensive than that one but I ended up doing this now you're gonna see where I set this up but what I want to get to is this is what I did today while I was in Rose class I am part of her Winfrog scene class and I, those are the tarot cards I pulled and then this is one of the cards that she pulled and then something that she was doing and I put it all together because what she was saying spoke volumes to me connect create understand and somebody else had said something and I don't know if Ro had said it because I missed the very first like 15 or 20 minutes of class but she said clarify your goals and manifest your intentions and some of the things that spoke to me today um, with loving determination I persevere and become the person I long to be I am safe and I I reach new levels of unconscious knowing as I surrender to the will of the universe I speak with wisdom and clarity one of the things I have to start doing is trusting in myself trusting in my intuition trusting in my own creativity and my own authentic journey uh, my own authentic tr trusting in my in my journey trusting in my energy trusting in trusting that everything will be okay being direct being consistent um, being 
clear-headed and open-minded. And this is what one of the things said. A clear heart and clear mind will allow you to speak your truth. I wanted to talk for a, a few minutes before I put the B6 Slim setup up because I've been following quite a few people lately. Uh, Miss Vicki B for a couple of months and I have been a patron before. I, I follow as many people as I can on Patreon but I can't always afford depending on how many patrons I have depends on how many people I can follow as a, as a pa as a patron. <laughs> and that's not important. What is important is that Ro months and months and months ago had told me I needed to go back and watch one of Miss Vicki B's old videos about switching journals like going from one journal to the other that you don't have to stay in a journal if you're feeling like you need to change sizes or you're feeling like you just want a different cover like changing a purse or changing your earrings so I've been I had started out with that video and then I went back to being a patron in Miss Vicky B's I follow Courtney I follow Leanne from creatively free to be me and everybody I follow is very unique in their own thing I have been on my own journey for a long while now and though I love to draw my day to document my day via illustrations and pictures I like also a mishmash I'm also a text journaler I'm always going to be a text journaler um, the bullet journal I have found I am I don't know that I will ever go back to omni journaling the way that I was but I have realized that during this time of chaos and stress and everything that's been going on, I have needed to simplify. And I need one place, which is my bullet journal, where I can put the majority of things in. I still have my sketchbook. I still have my journal. I have one journal that's more of a, um, it's in my standard. It's more of a, I do a lot of text journaling in that. I do like I'll do watercolor backgrounds. Sometimes I add pictures. Sometimes I journal about the day. It's my more of my long hand, long hand journaling where I do a lot more writing. And then I have my journal where I put bits and pieces of things. Sometimes it's one thing. Sometimes it's multiple things that I did all of draw your day March in. And I love how that turned out. I'm still doing it. Now I'm not doing something in that every single day anymore because I am doing more stuff in my bullet journal. Although I still have my spiritual journal where I'm going to be doing tarot stuff, I think I'm going to be doing study of the tarot in that. Whenever I pull a card, some days I'll watercolor like I did today during Rose class. And then other days I'll put a sticker down or I'll scan a copy of it or I'll take a picture and then print it with my zip. But there are some days when I'm going to want to be creative with it. Some days. Anything and everything can go in this. I doubt very seriously if I do my longhand text journaling in this, but I will be making notes of things like I did here, chat. I need to do the opening for the B6 Slim setup for YouTube, which is what I'm doing now. And I have this note where I wanted to, what I wanted to, it, the title for it to be. Those are all bullet journal things. But I wrote out some of what I wanted to remember to do for this chat, the, this coffee chat. And I wrote the quote back here where I have the fate and it says create understand and it says connect I have right here I have a quote and it has a little arrow so I can go back over here and look at the quote for the where it says there is never only one way Zeus bellowed that is why there are three fates not one and that I love the blood of I love that I love Rick Riordan's writing my son got me hooked on his books I haven't gotten any of his books lately but that's going to be on my to-do list, my to-buy list during that, this year is to finish some of the ones that I don't have and then continue with the rest, yeah, continue with the rest of the series. <laughs> I'm excited about some of the changes I've been making. Separating things for so long felt like, felt like I was keeping a piece of myself from myself. I was keeping things hidden. When you are hiding things, you're not being your authentic self. You're not being your authentic self when you're hiding bits and pieces of yourself. Um, for those of you who aren't sure, I am probably too woo-woo for some people. I, I believe in God. I am also pagan. So you can take that as you will. I'm, um, I'm just, <laughs> I feel like now I don't need labels. I, I don't 
don't do labels. But I, I probably am too woo-woo, too witchy, too new age, too whatever you want to call it for some people. And if you um, aren't interested, I understand. And that's okay. Um, I'm not going to be separating things anymore. I will have tags. Tabs. I said tabs earlier, didn't I, instead of tags. Tags. I have tags on you on Patreon. I have tags on YouTube. It will contain tags. Sometimes I will try to contain it in the title. Sometimes it'll be in the very beginning of the description. Um, if it's going to contain more spiritual content. For the example right now, I'm reading the Bible. I'm reading Lunar Abundance. I'm reading Tarot in Troubled Times. I just got finished re listening to the audible version of Dean Koontz. The Eyes of Darkness, which is supposed to talk about the Wuhan coronavirus, it does talk about something called Wuhan 400, but he changed the name of that like a decade later. He wrote it under his, wrote it under a different name, and then later on he changed it, and originally it was called Goki, Gooki, something that was talking about Russia, but then when the Cold War and everything had ended with Russia, he changed, he wrote the book, I think it published originally in like 1981. And then in 1998, he did a reprint, and the name changed from Goki to Wuhan for the name of the virus. So it's, and it's at the very end of the book. So you're reading, 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 or you're listening, listening, listening. And then that's at the very end. <laughs> I don't know. So uh, the next on my book list for that kind of stuff. Um, because I like to read and watch movies about all that kind of stuff. Anyway, it's probably going to be Sylvia Br uh, uh, Um I have several different end of time books. I've been, I'm also rereading The Stand. I'm actually physically reading The Stand by Stephen King. Which, I know, is not the Wuhan virus. He did a tweet about it. But, it is about the flu. And Captain Trump's. And there are people who are now saying Captain Trump's. <laughs> they're calling, they're calling the uh, coronavirus Captain Trump's which I'm gonna have to put in my journal um, I may have to actually screenshot where I found that and and put that in my journal I have newspaper articles I have a journal that is simply like a, more about current events and different things like that so like I, I still have separate journals but I wanted the one thing where everything is at the bulk of the things are at and this I can throw in my purse it's small enough to go in my small purse as a matter of fact and I have a hairband that I can put around it so that it doesn't open up and I'm good to go y'all good to go so I'm still using my standard I'm um, when I feel like text more texty kind of journaling when I feel like more arty kind of journaling more illustrated kind of journaling and I think um, maybe the next video that I do will where I show you some of the things that I'm actually using currently and how I use it um, I hope you enjoy the B6 Slim setup. Sorry. This is so long, but you know That's how I roll y'all have a good one. I'll see you again soon. Bye